Okay, hopefully uh, you must have understood the earlier two methods. You need to practice over and over again, otherwise if you understand, you know, at the very first attempt and then leave it for some time, it will be very difficult for you to uh, get the concept back. So it's a good idea if you could look at the program and try to understand again and again. So. Uh, the last or the third uh, method is the insertion stop. So this will be the third method of sorting the numbers. So again, we'll have the the list as say twenty five, uh, say fifteen, left thirty, left ten. 25, 40, and then you have 35. Okay, so this time the logic or the algorithm of this program is we need to pick up, you know, the first uh, index, the, the element, you know, which sits at index number 1, that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, I focus on this. And then I do the comparison with this. It's something similar to the selection sort, but uh, there is a bit of difference. So if this 15 is less than 25, this should sit here, and then 25 should be right here. And then again, you focus on the next one, and then this 30 has to be compared with the earlier value. Okay, if it's less, you know, it should take its place and then again you know it should be compared with this so let's say uh, for the sake of example you know this 10 merits to be sitting at this so i start comparing with this 10 with 30 if it's less i again take the comparison a little further 10 will be compared with 15 if it's less than you know 15 again i continue further so i move on i move on as long as this particular value is less than the earlier ones. So wherever it stops, you know, this, that particular term, you know, should take its deserving place. Let's say if we pick up 25 as an, as an example, uh, you know, 25 roughly, you know, should be, you know, should be before 30. Even though the example is not completely appropriate, just for the sake of example. So, well, we'll write the program first. Okay, so this is the brief algorithm or the logic behind the uh, the pro program of sorting the numbers you're saying insertion. All right. So the first loop will be for i in range. Okay, and then uh, the value of i, you know, should start from one. Uh, that's important. The value of i should start from 1, you know, assuming that, you know, this uh, this number 25, you know, uh, since, you know, 25 is the first number, there is no earlier numbers to be compared with, okay? So that is the reason why I take the first value of i as 1, because I want to start from here, okay? And then you have length of, you have list okay something like this and then what i do is you know in the uh i take up the value of uh okay so in 10 in 10 you know i'll have the list of i okay and then I'll take the help of position and then i minus 1. So the first value of i will be 1. Okay, so the list of 1 means you are, you know, pointing to 15. Alright, so 15 will be assigned to 10. 15 will be assigned to 10. And then you have i minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So the value of position becomes 0. So it is through the position variable that I'll be touching upon the earlier ones. Okay, I'll be touching upon the earlier ones. So roughly I pick up this, okay, and then through 
the variable of position which will help you to keep track of the earlier the numbers for comparison. So that's the reason why I'm using position, right? And then I'll use the Y and then there are two uh, big conditions. I need to continue as long as the value of position is greater or equal to zero. Like I said, you know, the position is a variable which is used to keep track of the earlier uh, the index. So it should move on as long as the value of position is greater or equal to zero. So the numbers to be compared with should move on till the value of index is zero or greater than zero. For example, you know, this number should be compared with 30, 15 and 25. It should not go beyond this. You know, this is the reason why I have this condition, right? And then, and, you know, since there are two conditions, so I need to keep the mo loop moving as long as uh, the list of, uh, the list of position, okay? The list of position is, uh, the list of position means you are referring to the earlier number, right? As long as, you know, it is greater, right? As long as this is greater than 10. I'll come to this. Okay. So, as of now, uh, the value of i is 1. Okay. So, list of 1 means, list of 1 means 15. 15 will become the value of 10. So you have 15 here, okay, and then the value of position, i being 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So the value of position is 0. So list of 0 means, you know, you are pointing to, list of 0 means you are pointing to 25, okay. So if 25 is greater than 15, if the earlier value is greater than the next value, which means, you know, I need to, you know, I need to push this, you know, towards the left side. Or, you know, I need to push this to the next value. Okay? So, you need to get this right. So, when do I continue with the actual operation S, as long as the value of position is greater or equal to zero. And if the list of position, if the earlier value is greater than the later value, you know, it cannot be in a ascending order. Right? So, that's when I need to carry on with the body of the loop. So what exactly that you should be doing is uh, the list of position plus one is equal to list of position and then I need to deduct the value of position by one. So what's happening here is the list of position is 25. This 25 this 25 should be pushed to the next index value. So since the value of position is 0, okay, since the value of position is 0, and then position plus 1 is 0 plus 1 is 1. So basically, uh, what we are doing here is list of 0 is being copied onto list of 1. List of 0 is 25. 25 is being copied onto, okay, list of one. This is, you know, what we are doing. Since 25 is greater than 15, 25 should be pushed back by one uh, index value. So this is exactly what I'm trying to do. List of position is being copied onto list of position plus one. Okay. And then uh, I now need to, you know, deduct the value of position. That's because I uh, actually I need to move on with the comparison. Okay. So. Uh, that's why I have to deduct the value of position by 1. So let's say, since the value of position is 0, 0 minus 1 is uh, negative 1. So the new value of position is negative 1. Negative 1 is greater or equal to 0. It's neither greater nor equal to, you know, since uh, out of two conditions, you know, uh, separated by and if one of the condition is false, the overall condition you know, will be false. So negative one, negative one is not greater, neither greater nor equal to. So the condition becomes false. 
So that's when you know the inner wine loop should stop. So at this point, what happens here is 25 has been copied onto your uh, list of one. But this 15, this 15, list of one, remember list of one, when the value of i is one, list of one has been recorded in a temporary variable called till. So we have not lost the, the original value of list of one. It's still safe and sound in the till. Okay, so it's now simple, right? So at the end of this, you know, I now, you know, have this list of a uh, list of, you know, this, this is I, right? I is equal to 10. So the value of I is, uh, oh, sorry, I think I made a small mistake. Okay. Right here, position is equal to position plus one. I'm so sorry. And then list of position is equal to 10. All right. So uh, remember, you know, once I'm done with the, the first while uh, cycle, the value of position was negative one. Remember, it was negative one. So when you come out of the loop, negative plus one is one, uh, sorry, zero, negative one plus positive one is uh, zero, and then list of zero, list of zero means this, okay? This is list of zero. So in list of zero, I assign the value of 10. The value of 10 is uh, 15, remember? Okay, uh, when the, the value of I actually signed with one, so list of one, you know, was 15 to start with, so you have the 10 value as 15. So 15 will be assigned to list of zero. I repeat, 15 will be assigned to list of zero. This is list of zero. So this 15 will be copied right here. Okay, so at the end of the first outer loop, at the end of first outer loop, when the value of i was zero, Sorry, when the value of i was 1, when the value of i was 1, you know, we now have the status as 20, okay, 15, 25, 30, 10, 25, 40, and then you have 35, okay. So this was the states. This was the states when the value of i was 1. Now, when the value of i as 2, Okay, we'll just take a look at this and then you know, we'll stop. Okay, now when the value of i is 2, when the value of i is 2, what happens is say you have 2 here and then list of 2, list of 2 means, list of 2 means this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, list of 2 means you're pointing to 30. Okay, now this study should be checked with 25 and 15. So list of 2 is 30. Okay, so you will have here 30. I is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay, and then the value of position is 1. 1 is greater or equal to 0. The condition is true. So this loop. This uh, while loop will execute two times when the value of position as one and the value of position as zero. Okay, since you know it starts from one, we just check list of position. The value of position is one. Is it? So list of one means list of one means twenty five. Okay, and then in ten, you know I have thirty. All right. So twenty five. Even though this condition is true. But this condition is false. 25 greater than 30, you know, the condition is false, right? So, uh, you know, you will have to come out of this, okay? Since the condition is false, you know, you will have to come out of this and then come out of the loop, all right? And then the value of position, uh, what is the value of position? The value of position is 1, okay? So 1 plus 1 is 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, these two statements will not be executed. So, uh, list of position. 
list of two is zero one two. In list of two, I'll assign the value of ten, which is thirty. So nothing, you know, is happening as such since you know thirty should be you know where it is. You know the thirty will be copied onto list of position, which is list of two. Okay, so nothing is happening as such since. 30 is not less than 25. Since this condition is false, these two statements will not be executed. If it's not less than this, you know, the, the, it, it's simply out of you know, the question that I move on with the comparison with the next one. Okay? And, <coughs> and then when the value of i changes to uh, 3, now this is important. Okay? Now this will be the final cycle, and then with, with that, we should be able to understand the whole program. When the value of i as 3, okay? When the value of i as 3, list of 3, list of 3 is, list of 3 is 10, alright? So 10 will be assigned to 10. List of i, since the value of i is 3, list of 3 is 10. 10 will be assigned to 10. And then, 3 minus 1 is 2. 3 minus the value of i is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay? So this is 2. So as you can see, uh, the value of position, if it starts with 2, 2, you know, the first wild cycle, 1, uh, the second wild cycle, and then 0, you know, another, and the last wild cycle. So three times the loop will be executed. So there will be three operations. Loop number one, loop number two, and then loop number three. But just in case, if this condition evaluates to false, then you have to come out of the loop, okay? So the value of position is two. So since the value of position is two, the list of two is pointing to 30, okay? The list of 2 is pointing to 30. So I'll just write here 30 and the value of 10, you know, is 10. So 30 is greater than 10. The condition is true. 30 is greater than 10. The condition is true. Okay. And then uh, position is also greater than 0. So both the conditions uh, hold true. And then just get inside the loop. Okay. What's the value of position? The value of position is Two, okay. List of two. List of two is thirty. Remember, list of two is thirty. So this thirty will be copied on to two plus one. Two plus one is three. So thirty will be copied on to list of three. List of three means zero, one, two, three. So this thirty will be copy it right here since now this is list of three so list of two which is 30 will be copied onto list of two plus one which is list of three so this is how this 30 will be copied here and then position is equal to position minus one the value of position is how much it's two remember so two minus one is one so the new value of position is now one uh, it's greater than zero and then list of the new value of position is one remember okay so the value of list of one list of one is you're pointing to 20, 25 okay so list of one means 25 is it greater than 10 10 the value of 10 is constant you know for uh, for now so the condition holds true. This condition is true and this condition is also true. And then what happens is, okay, the value of position is how much? It's one, remember? So list of one means, list of one means 25, is it? So you have here 25. This 25 is being copied on to one plus one, which is two. So list of 1, which is 25, is copied onto list of 2. So list of 1 is being copied onto list of 2. List of 1 is being copied onto list of 2. So this 25 will be pushed at the index value of 2. So you will have something like this, 25. 
Okay? And then position, since it's 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So this will be the final loop. Okay? 0, even though it's not greater than 0, but it's at least equal to 0. Alright? So uh, now this will be the final step or the final uh, cycle. The value of position, you know, since it's 0, 0 is equal to 0, and then list of 0 is 15, right? So you will have here 15. 15 is greater than 10. 0 is equal to 0. So both the conditions are true, okay? So the value of position, since it's 0, now you know the value of position of 0, the the list of zero, list of position, list of zero is 15. Okay, so list of zero will be pushed to the index value of list of one. So list of zero, which is 15, will be pushed to the list of one. So this 15 will be pushed to the list of one. Okay, so you will see 30 being pushed to third index, 25 being pushed to second index. Uh, 15, which sits at the zeroth index, you know, will be pushed to the first index. Okay, now we are left with uh, inserting, you know, the, the value of 10 in this. Okay, and then finally, when the value of position is 0, 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Okay, negative 1. Negative 1 is neither greater than 0 nor equal to 0. Hence, this condition evaluates to your false. Okay, so come out of the loop, but remember, the latest value of position is negative 1. So, negative 1 plus positive 1 is 0, alright? So, in list of 0, in list of 0, I copy the value of 10. The value of 10 is 10, remember? So, this is how the 10 will be copied onto the list of 0. So the 10 will now be copied right here. So you will have the new list status at the end of the third outer loop. So for the fourth outer loop again, you know it will pick up the next value of the next value of uh, this is 20, right? I'm sorry. It will pick up 20 and then 20 will be compared with 30. Okay, the condition is true, it will be compared with this, uh, condition will be true, but when it when 20 is being compared with 15, that's when the condition becomes false. Okay, so 30 will be pushed at the fourth, 25 will be pushed at the third, and then at the second index, that's where uh, the value of 20 will eventually be copied. Okay, so uh, if you could Complete the program on this note, print, and then list. Uh, you will see the status of the list at the end of each outer loop. And this will be very helpful uh, for your understanding of the program. Okay? So, uh, I know these three programs are a little complicated. And if I show it live on the screen, it will be literally next to impossible for me to explain the working or the logic of the program. So I had to do it here, but I'm pretty confident that I got the entire program correct, even though I couldn't run it here. So uh, try to read all three programs time and again and try to understand and then, you know, you at any cost you have to work it out on the system, all right? So the more you read the program, the better, the faster you'll be able to uh, gauge uh, the working or the logic or the algorithm of the program. So before you touch upon all three programs, make sure that you are completely and absolutely crystal clear with the algorithm of the selection. The moment you uh, hear this, you know, the selection, you know, automatically, you know, I need to pick up the, I need to select the smallest number, okay, and then interchange the smallest number with the zeroth element. Okay, and then start from the first element, start from the first index element, and then pick up the smallest and then interchange it with the value or the element at the first index. 
Okay, so this is the picture that you need to get in your head before you write the program. And then you have the bubble sort, the zero index uh, element is compared with the first ele first index element. You know, if it's if the earlier element is bigger, you need to interchange. So go on and on, and then until uh, the largest number will appear at the end. And then I need to get the the limit little you know ahead because I'm done and dusted with the last value. Bubble, you know, means the, uh, that's what is the meaning of bubble. You know, you keep blowing up, you know, it becomes bigger and bigger. Okay, so likewise, the largest number will keep, you know, getting pushed, you know, till it reaches, you know, the end. And then the next cycle will again start from the beginning, but it, sh it should stop at the second to last index. And then finally, you have the insertion uh, where you again focus on the first number. The first number in the sense, first index element, start with the first index element and check with the earlier one. And then if it's less, I need to copy this and then, you know, uh, move on as long as all the conditions are true. So roughly try to get the algorithm or the logic behind these three programs in your head. And then if you go on with the uh, understanding of the program or you know, doing it practically on the system, you know, things will be will be far far easier for you. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll continue further in the next uh, video lesson. Okay, until then, please uh, take care of yourself and study smart and study very very hard. Thank you.